In this session, I am going to explain about photoactive and electroactive materials. First, let us see photoactive materials. These are the materials which absorb light and convert it into electrical signals. The best example is PV cells or photovoltaic cells. In PV cell, when the light falls on the photoactive material, it knocks out the electron which generate an electric current. Photoactive materials are also used in LCD panels for controlling the pixels in the display. Now let us see their working principle. In LCD panels, photoactive materials are used to control the pixels by allowing or blocking the light. If we are seeing the construction, a backlight is placed behind the LCD panel which emits light that passes through LCD panel followed by polarizing filter. In front of the polarizing filter, the photoactive material is placed. By applying the potential to the photoactive material, there will be change in the orientation of the molecules within the materials. This changes the amount of light and hence controlling the brightness of the pixel. One more type of materials are electroactive materials. These are the materials which change their physical properties like uh, shape, size or refractive index when exposed to an electric field. This type of materials are used in electroluminescent displays which are used in watches, calculators, etc. By the application of electric field, the electroactive materials emits light which is used to create the image on the display. As I mentioned, these materials are used in electroluminescent displays. Here, these materials usually sandwiched between two conductive layers which act as electrodes. By the application of voltage between the electrodes, these materials emit light which is used for creating the image on the display.